Hi, my name is Ed, and today I'm going to be working on my Pioneer uh, 1000-5. This is a 2022 uh, model, and so the uh, reason why I'm working on this today is because when I go from two-wheel drive to turf mode, sometimes it doesn't respond. I have to travel a, a bit of a distance before she responds and actually switches over. So I'm trying to uh, uh, go and adjust the cable and uh, kind of improve that response, and I'm going to show you how, how, uh, how I do that. All right, so first things first is I'm going to go ahead and uh, jack the, uh, the back up and put them on jack stands so that way I have just a little bit of clearance so that way I can go ahead and spin these, uh, these back tires uh, as needed. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is make sure the uh, back is, is folded down so that way I can go ahead and, and dump the bed and then I can go ahead and shift this thing into, into neutral and then I can go ahead and start uh, working on getting into the back for the cable adjustment. Okay, so remember the uh, lever for dumping the bed was, was right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back in here. And so the location where we're going to be working is right back in here. So it's a little bit tough to get to. But um, the idea here is this little box. This is the control uh, area where the cabling system is. So we're going to go pop that little clip. And then there's also a little bolt up here on the top side. I can show you where that is. There's a little bolt. I believe that's a 13 millimeter. So this is uh, where we go ahead and uh, make the uh, make the adjustment uh, for the uh, for the cabling. Okay. So the first thing you're going to find is there's this hose that's going to be in the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and push this hose, pull this out of the clips, and then roll this this hose out of this other clip and get this cleared. And so this uh, this bolt that's on the top. Sorry, it's actually uh, a 10 millimeter. So we're going to go ahead and use a 10 millimeter wrench and go ahead and. Loosen that up. Okay, once you get your um, that nut gone, go ahead and use a flathead. We'll pop the uh, the top piece of this plastic little clip, and then go ahead and get the rest of the clip off, and then the rest of this should come off pretty easily. And then that exposes the rest of the um, system right here. This is the cable adjustment that, uh, that we're looking for. All right. All right. So here's an excerpt from the service manual. I'll go ahead and put this on this the screen so we can get, you can get a better look at yourself but uh, so obviously the, uh, the instructions on the uh, on the top of the box is, is still accurate per the service manual I'll put it in a park and a turf and then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go ahead and snug down the uh, this little fitting here so I was supposed to basically you know take out the slack which is what I was doing what I already uh, planning to do and then what you're supposed to do is um, you know snug it out and then back it out uh, one click Right, so you're supposed to have just a slight bit of bit of uh, slack right there. Um, I still have a little bit of slack right there, so right there is perfect. So the specs on here says uh, uh, basically between 0.25 millimeters and uh, 1.5 millimeters uh, of slack between the uh, uh, between these two points. So that's correct. All right. All right. So now just a matter of. Put the cover back on. It's always difficult when it's hard to see everything. <laughs> Let me get that, uh, that tube brought back over because I kind of moved it out of the way. There we go. All right, find that, find that bolt. And then, of course, our plastic clip. Which goes in over here. And then the expander part of the clip. Where did I put that thing? Here we are. All these things with damn it clips. If you lose one of the pieces, it's damn it. All right, we're going to go in here with a wrench and go ahead and tighten the uh, tighten that guy down. And then now we uh, now we have just a matter of take the jacks back out uh, and then uh, test it out, make sure that uh, it's working a lot better. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just run a simple test. Um, obviously I have her uh, running right now, so she's in, uh, she's in park and she is in turf mode. Okay, let's go ahead and switch her to, uh, uh, to two, uh, two wheel drive. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go into, just creep forward just a wee little bit and see if she engages. Just like, I just creeped forward maybe, what, four feet, and it kicked right in. So that seems to be a lot better. So let me go ahead and, and I went to turf mode, and it, it just immediately popped right back off. So go back into two-wheel drive lock. See, look at that. So she's responding pretty, quick, pretty quickly. So let me go ahead and just back up a little bit, put the uh, rear differential in, in another spot here. Go ahead and back up just a little bit. See what she does. Go to neutral. Two wheel drive. Yeah, see. Sometimes what you gotta do is you gotta, you gotta creep forwards or move back a little bit. Just move forward just a wee little bit. There it is. And then there's the turf mode. There we go. Yeah, this looks like it's working a lot better now. Um, I still have to uh, sometimes move uh, just a little bit of distance in order for the uh, for it to either engage or disengage uh, with the modes that I'm, that I'm selecting. Um, but what I'm also noticing is beforehand, um, I, I could just like slide it over and there was like no resistance at all. Now I can at least feel some of the uh, uh, some of the, the, the tension load on the cable as I'm sliding it over. Uh, which is what you you want to feel a little bit of that so that way you uh, you, you know that there's at least some level of control that, that's being given uh, back down to the uh, that rear differential uh, otherwise it's like but it's it's not even even pulling on the cable enough to, uh, to be able to trigger the uh, that that command okay so our back uh, differential is engaging and disengaging perfectly between two wheel drive and, and turf but now our front wheel or four wheel drive uh, it's it's engaging four wheel drive, but not the differential lock side. So we need to go ahead and take a look at at this guy and possibly tighten this guy just a smidge. So that's uh, the cable comes in uh, right down through the front here. So that's this little box right here. So our cable comes in right here, and then so sa same uh, ten millimeters. Uh, for the for the uh, bolts on these sides, I'm gonna go ahead and pop those loose, and I should be able to get to the cable uh, that way. Okay, so per the service manual, we want to make sure that we're not in uh, four wheel drive, and we want to make sure we're in a two wheel drive uh, park only. So I'll put it in park and make sure that the uh, two wheel drive um, position is uh, uh, is, so, is selected. Okay, and make sure that it shows uh, two wheel drive. All right. So make sure that we're in this. And we have park and two-wheel drive. We're good. You know that let that, that slack right there. What we do is we'll go ahead and uh, and tighten that just a little bit to go ahead and take that slack out. For me, this is one, two, uh, maybe three. Let me try that. All right, and let's go ahead and try that out. Okay, so after doing all the adjustments and everything from the uh, uh, per the specs from the service manual, I'm just going, I wanted to show. Um, so we're on turf mode right now. Go ahead and switch over to a uh, two-wheel drive, and uh, it does respond. Uh, if it doesn't respond right away, it's like move like maybe you know four or five feet, and it seems to engage uh, pretty pretty quickly. Uh, if, if you're in the right spot on the uh, on the rear differential, it seems to, to activate and deactivate uh, uh, pr pretty effectively, right? So. If I can go up here to the four wheel, that one doesn't seem to uh, to engage like immediately. So if you're expecting it to uh, to engage immediately like that, it's it's, it's not always going to happen. Uh, I just went into park. Looks like I kind of creeped just a wee little bit, and, and then the four just engaged. So I can go into the uh, to the four wheel drive differential lock, and this one doesn't really seem to to lock right away for me. Usually I have to kind of uh, move just a wee little bit 
uh, before this one fully engages. So, um, but everything uh, uh, is is working and is responding. So it's not like I'll I'll be driving all over the place and it's it's not going into the modes that I want like like kind of like how I, like what was before. So um, it, it, it it is still working. So if I go into drive right here. It'll lock and unlock, no problem, but it just has to be in the right spot. So based on this, this tells me, you know, it's it's adjusted correctly. It's just, it has to get in that right, that, that sweet spot. So um, I may have, uh, may just also be because have, we haven't hit our, our first uh, oil change yet either. So uh, for the uh, differential, so that might also be, be part of it. So anyways. Okay, so this was doing the cable adjustments on a Honda Pioneer 1000-5 uh, for the rear differential as well as the front differential and getting them all within the uh, service manual specs. So hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please hit the like and subscribe buttons as well as checking out the various playlists I have uh, displayed here on the page. Um, so the uh, uh, lots of other helpful uh, how-to tutorials and everything like that related to the Honda Pioneer. And happy riding!